First heard the news about Chase coming. Super excited. Have a Ohio State guy in the building. What does he bring? What is he, what is he going to bring to this defensive line? Um, speed off the edge. Um, good length, playmaking ability. Um, everything that he is as a player. Uh, I think people forget when you get injured, but um, he's really young and he's got a long, a long career ahead. And I think we're lucky to have him. How, how, can, how do you two kind of complement each other in uh, style of play? Um, I don't know. He's both good rushers. Both uh, he's speed guy. He's got he's got it all. But I think speed and a good power rusher kind of go together. How, how much did you role have you played since he's been here already, trying to help him get up to speed? Um, I think he's been with Pat mostly and Chris, um, but. He's definitely watching me every play and trying to get the nuances of the defense down. And um, I'm there watching him every rep. Monday was our only practice so far, so um, I was just telling him what I saw every play. Nick, can you describe that phone call? Because he, he said you called him within like five minutes of him getting traded. Yeah, George called me and let me know. And then I FaceTimed him right away. I was in here and um, it was just shocking honestly we didn't ever expect to play together and it's it's a little weird seeing him walking around this building how often did you talk to him prior to this i mean obviously you're busy with your profession and, and your own team you talked to him a lot prior um we kept in touch but uh obviously we we're both doing our own thing and um but we were really close at Ohio State, and it's good to have him back. Is there a specific memory that you have from Ohio State that sticks out with Chase? I think just the year where I uh, got ended early with my groin, um, we were just dominating together, which was a lot of fun. Did you guys have any conversations when you went back to back defense and the year got down? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we did. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all. I also in watching the Bengals game, they just come back to their team. I'm sure yeah, definitely. Um, some guys more than others. Uh, with that, everybody feels different after Man. every game. Um, I was feeling pretty good. Uh, I feel obviously better now, but uh, it's a long year. Uh, you're going to be beat up. you got to play to your standard every week. Uh, I was saying. I guess, I mean, you don't know. Maybe it was like on Sunday, but it, it, it seemed like a well-timed buy and maybe the full piece of it. Yeah, definitely. I think everybody's minds are refreshed and excited. Uh, I could feel it in here. and um, Yeah, we need it. I was saying that Steve Wilkes is going to be on the field this week instead of up in the booth. How does that change things or does it change things at all for you guys for having a coordinator on the field? Not too much, no. Nick, hey, Nick Morris, the... gets rid of the ball really fast. How do you affect a quarterback who's getting it out with 2.4 or 2.4? Um, you stop the run and you stop the screens and the, the RPOs and the quick game and you try and force them into – um, playing quarterback, playing the position, going through reads, and hopefully later in the game make those plays. Nick, you talked about stopping the run. What's the key to limiting Travis Etienne? Um, setting edges and just running to the ball, putting pads on him, uh, getting back to who we are. Um, every play, just swarming. What's the best thing you did on your bike with the South Rock was on a tractor and Iowa guys were all over the place. What did you do? Anything fun? Um, I don't even know if I want to tell you guys, but uh, <laughs> okay. I was, yeah, I don't trust, okay. trust people. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. All right, thanks, Nick. Is there a certain uh, urgency to, I mean, you lost your role or yeah, definitely. I mean, it's every week, but we, we need to get back on track. We need to string together a win, one win, and uh, we're not looking ahead. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely want to put a good showing out there. Thanks, Nate. Thank you. Thanks.